Should you upgrade to Windows 11 if you're currently running Windows 10? I'm going to upgrade this Windows 11 laptop. I'm going to test drive it for a couple weeks and I'm going to tell you if it's worth it from a consumer's perspective, from a creator's perspective, and from a gamer's perspective. Let's find out. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. Today we are covering something that you may have already wondered about or are wondering about, and that is should you upgrade to Windows 11? Now on this computer that I have, this laptop, I turned it on one day and I was greeted with a pop-up that said, hey, your machine meets the requirements for Windows 11. Click here and we will upgrade you. Now I wasn't sure if it was a free upgrade or not, so I thought, okay, let's look at this a little bit closer. And the thing that I didn't know was, do I really want to upgrade. I hadn't really kept in touch with Windows 11 simply because Windows 10 was working so good for me. Everything was set up exactly how I needed it. Everything was working. So is it really worth it to go through the hassle of upgrading? I don't know. So I went through the process of actually upgrading the computer, which you can see here. So it, first of all, it downloads the update, which it'll do while the computer's running. Then it'll run the install. I got some good screen captures of that so you can see that process. We'll just speed that up so you can see it progress through. And then it rebooted multiple times during the upgrade process and roughly an hour or so later, the update was complete. I then proceeded to test drive the system for a number of weeks just to see what I thought of it and review it so I could see how it works from a consumer's perspective, i.e. somebody who just consumes content. They don't create anything, don't make anything, they don't need to do anything special, it's just accessing their computer to do regular functions. That covers about 95% or so of the population. And for my case on this laptop, that's really all I use it for. I do some light content creation, but most of my content creation is on my dedicated rig. I have not upgraded that yet because I wanted to see how Windows 11 works. So now we're gonna jump into the impressions of the Windows 11 and we'll cover off all of the things. Don't forget to stay. We'll cover off all of the, everything that I discovered in using it. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because I will cover off for gamers as well as content creators and then tie it all together really. Windows 11 installed on the computer. Let's log into it and get our first impressions of the operating system. So you're gonna be greeted with this login screen, which is familiar. Click the button, it says sign in. Now I did not set up a password. This is an offline account. I don't like the Microsoft account. I bought this computer. I want to use it without linking it to an online account that could potentially lock me out of my own stuff. That's just me. Maybe you don't feel the same. And this is what it looks like when you first log in. So it's, it's actually quite different from Windows 10. And the first thing you're gonna notice is this bar in the middle here rather than off to the left. We do have the start button still. And when we push that, you'll see a bunch of pinned apps. You've got an option to see all of your apps, which is in a list mode, similar to what you would have seen before, because we did the upgrade, all of the software that I had installed on here in the first place still is here. And for the most part, it seems like it all just works. Now, the one thing that I'm noticing is down here, something that I don't like, and that is, you can see here, so I've just opened Google. So let's go to Gears and Tech. We'll open that tab up. Now I'm going to open this up as a new window. You'll notice, so now I've got two copies of Gears and Tech open. And to go between them, you have to do like this. Now, this was a feature in Windows 10 where it combined, but the first thing I always did with Windows 10 was go to the taskbar settings and say, never combine. I do not want these combined. I want them expanded out and I wanna be able to see them. So when I cl right click here and say taskbar settings, this is what I'm greeted with for my taskbar options. I do not have 
the option to never combine. It's not there anymore. They are forcing you to always combine your things. Now that keeps the, the taskbar clean. So there are tweaks and apps out there that you can research that will show you how to uh, ungroup those taskbar settings or ungroup those programs in the taskbar. Also, it'll allow you to move the task, the start menu over to the left-hand side, make it feel more like a Windows 10 experience. That being said, I have had a chance to use Windows 11 for a couple weeks now, and I do have a few thoughts about it. And I'm gonna cover those thoughts from a consumer's point of view and a creator's point of view. I consider myself to be both. So first of all, from a creator's point of view. This is more like an Apple. It is more like Mac OS. So they tried to make it more simple, more basic. So it looks pretty, it's simple. Everyone who's used a Mac knows that everything expands out from the middle. So this is more Mac-like. And I think that's a good move by Windows just to kind of blur those lines and really make people think twice about using a Mac versus Windows because they're a lot more similar now. Like everything just works. Everything would work from a a user's perspective, from an internet consumer's perspective. Now, when I say an internet consumer, what I mean is you're not creating content. You're going on Facebook, you're going on Instagram, you're going on YouTube, hopefully checking out Gears and Tech, you're doing your banking, you're, you're doing stuff, but you're not creating anything. You're not using softwares like uh, Photoshop or Premiere Pro or anything like that. You're not a creator, you're an internet consumer. So you're just using this as a gateway to all of the things that you are trying to accomplish. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not like saying that, you know, you suck because you don't create stuff. I'm saying that 95% of the people that use a laptop or use a computer are using it just to use it for that purpose. You're not creating stuff. So if you're not creating anything, this will work just as good as any other version of Windows. It's more stable. It's more pretty to look at. It's more simple. They've simplified a lot of the functions and you will not notice any negative side effects of upgrading. So if you get that option where your computer says, hey, you're eligible for a free upgrade and you are a internet consumer, go ahead and upgrade. You won't regret it. Everything will work. It's the compatibility is like 99% for everything that you're going to use. All the basic functionality is there. You won't miss a thing. There's some things that are different. You'll have to get used to those. The taskbar being in the middle, being one of them but it's not hard to get used to. I've been using it a couple of weeks and I am used to it. Now let's talk about the creators. The creators, I would say, wait. This is my consumer laptop. It, it's my internet consuming laptop. I have not upgraded my workstation. And part of that reason is because there is still some incompatibilities with some of the softwares that you might be used to using. There's also some potential driver issues that you will have with your video cards if you're a gamer, and there are a lot of bugs to still be worked out in that respect. So specifically for the gamers out there, there's a bug where it actually downgrades your video card drivers to an older version, which is maybe not as ideal, and there's some workarounds that have to come with that. Now, updates are coming very frequently, so you'll likely end up having all of those fixed, but for now, there's no benefit for gamers or content creators to be switching to Windows 11 unless you enjoy tinkering, unless you enjoy adjusting stuff, switching stuff, figuring out how to change stuff. If you know when it's time to work that you just need to sit down and do some work, do not upgrade to Windows 11. Your Windows 10 rig is probably optimized. It's running great. I would say to stay on that as long as you can until an upgrade is required. And that's just for simplicity. If it's working, it's working. You will not gain any benefits by switching to Windows 11. All of the features that have changed just makes it harder for you to do your work. So there's two kinds of people, well, really three kinds of people that are looking at Windows 11. Should I upgrade? That would be an internet consumer, a gamer, and a content creator. And it's important that you understand how you use your machine so that you know where you should go, like if you should upgrade or should not upgrade. So I hope that helps you out. I just, I didn't want to get into tons of specifics with this because I know there's a lot of other guys out there that are like digging down, look, it does this, it can't do this, can't do that. Just know that in a basic perspective, it works really well for consumers. It doesn't work that great yet for gamers or content creators. That's it in a nutshell. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope 
hope you enjoy the content in this video. We'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.